So I grew up in a place with the beautiful mountains and the rivers around me, and I've always had the love for animals, dog, cat, and even fish. Well, we catch fish and eat them. However, I fear wild animals, and I hate just sitting in the sun and fishing. Now, some American friends they told me just to get a thermal monocular when you are out and about, and I did, but a far more advanced one. So these are Utrek AI outdoor glasses, a product that combines a thermal imaging system and AR glasses. These can capture thermal images of the wild animals on the farm, fix appliances or cars with the thermal images, and with the sonar ball in the water, you can see where the fish are. Lastly, they can be used for vlogging. If you are intrigued already, you can head to the crowdfunding page below to learn more details. Now, let's get on with this video. I'm not going to explain how thermals work, but uh, there are some issues that thermal monoculars have. For example, it must be mounted somewhere, either on a stand, a rifle, or a helmet. Then, once your eyes are not on it, you can't see the thermal images. If it is on your helmet, you can also focus on the road under your feet. It's uh, dangerous. Lastly, those monoculars are expensive. Now, these uh, U-Track glasses are here to solve these problems. Just to uh, quickly show you what's in the package, here is the uh, box and there's the uh, whole set of glasses. Then in this uh, small box, there's a charger and a cable, a uh, rechargeable battery, a glass cover, and a fine cloth. Let's start off with the thermal imaging. It's about 8 p.m. and I'm in a park right now. I know there are some uh, cats and the birds here, but hopefully, let's see if we can see some uh, more animals. And uh, I'm a little bit scared, to be honest. For forest, it's quite complicated actually. So the uh, color palette for this kind of situation, I think is either the white hot or black hot. And I think the black hot is the best right now because uh, the black hot makes things simple. So as I'm walking, I can certainly see people jogging here and the uh, thermal image can tell it. If you want, you can record a video or snap a picture. It will be good material to talk about with your friends. It claims to have a 384 by 288 resolution thermal sensor on it. It's up to 25 MK sensitivity and also multiple image palettes. The temperature it can detect is from 0 to 100 degree Celsius or 32 to 212 degree Fahrenheit. The VR glasses I'm wearing, they have a 60 Hz refresh rate, so every visual is smooth. The image size is about 80 inches at a 3 meters range. Resolution is 1080p. Alright, I've done some animal watching and I'm back in this same seat. All I can saw is some cats and people because they are quite familiar with the environment right now. For other animals, not so much. Actually, no. Maybe we will switch scenes to see if we can see more animals. And maybe next time when I come back, I'll bring some food so the animals can come, right? Now, Keep watching because we are switching scenes next. All right, let's test how they work in the uh, daytime and do a little bit of uh, fishing. Uh, technically, fish watching because I don't really go fishing actually. So as you can see, in the uh, daytime, the uh, sunlight is harsh. So there's a cover on the glasses to block the light. And now the best thermal image palette for the uh, situations, for example, if there's a large piece of grass, I think it is best to use white hot so the uh, subjects stand out. You can see the uh, bug flying and uh, people walking by. And since the refresh rate of AR glasses is 60 Hz, so the uh, movement of the bug is very smooth. This is very important when you're watching some uh, wild animals. And at an open space, it's perfect to test the working range. It claims to be able to work up to uh, 1500 meters and within 800 meters, it can detect everything. So I was at this long runway, I can still see people very far away. As these images show here, I think it can basically support its claim. As I was back in the office, I tested how well they work in the heavy rain. As you can see, it still picked up everything well, including the people and the light in the building. Now to do modern fishing, you still need this sonar ball. So you cast the ball into the water, then you can see a lot of info in the AR glasses. For fishing, I know it is important to choose the location and do the baiting right first. So with this set, you can see the info of the terrain, the depth of the temperature of the water, and then decide if it is the best spot. And of course, if there are fish in the water, you will see them big or small. The sonar ball supports dual frequency, 120kHz and 300kHz. It works at 0.6 meters to 
45 meters of depth range, accuracy level 0.05 meters. If you're an experienced fisherman, you know how the uh, two different frequencies work and the uh, scan sensitivity. On this unit, you can tweak these settings to cover the area you want with the uh, right clarity. There's also a light ring here for you to see it at night. One charge can make the sonar ball work for eight hours. There are also other features of the sonar ball in the settings in the app. I will leave them for you to explore. Now, I know there are some sonar ball products out there connected to your phone and uh, see everything. But with this device, you can view the images on the glasses in real time. You can focus on fishing while having the visual right in front of you. So you can go home early and uh, enjoy the tasty fish with the family, isn't it? And what if there's something wrong with the appliances? You're the man, you need to do it. With the thermal imaging system, you can still check the uh, wrong part of the, uh, let's say your PC or refrigerator or some pipes and uh, try to fix it as soon as possible. There's also an industrial level endoscope as an optional accessory, so you can do the job quick and easy. The endoscope is about two meters, 6.5 foot long with two cameras at the tip and the lights around them. There's a, a control to switch the lens and a dial to change the brightness of the lights. When using it, there's image on the glasses. The image quality is 720p. It is uh, more intuitive than some apps on other screens. Your eyesight aligns with what you are doing at the front. This is extremely convenient. Another great way to use these glasses is uh, vlogging. There's a 48 megapixel camera at the front with the EIS and OIS. It can record 4K footage and the zoom is up to 3x. One thing I forgot to mention previously is that uh, there are mics for picking up the sound. I see two major scenarios you can use these camera. First, when you are out in the field, hiking or fishing or whatever, when you are not using the uh, thermal imaging, you can uh, record a vlog with a POV angle. Super convenient, right? Second, documenting a DIY or tutorial project or fixing a car. If you work on these things, this can be very helpful. It claims to have the best camera combo in the smart glasses market. Well, I haven't used much smart glasses, unfortunately. I will leave this for some of you to test out. So what do you think about the overall performance of the uh, Utrek AI outdoor glasses? I think these are fantastic devices. Some other details you should also know. First, the overall design is more like the Apple Vision Pro, not just the uh, physical design, but also the UI inside. By the way, the uh, UI is actually very smooth and intuitive. Then uh, this prototype I have in hand is about 518 grams in weight with the uh, battery inside. The company said the uh, final product will be around 450 grams, much lighter than the uh, Vision Pro. This weight is uh, decent and I can uh, still wear them for a long time. Next, the device comes with 128 gigs of uh, internal storage and there's an SD card slot that support up to 256 gigs. And uh, through this uh, multifunctional Type-C port, you can connect to uh, different parts like the uh, thermal or maybe some uh, new accessories you would need. Or manage files in the field, connect it to your laptop and just do some analysis quick and easy. If you don't need to stare at the AI glasses, you can uh, flip them up like this, very convenient. There's a small battery besides the 3300 million battery, so whenever the battery level is low, you can hot swap the battery really quickly. All right, these are the uh, U-Track AI Outdoor Glasses, a product that is uh, truly useful for animal watching and searching. With the uh, sonar ball, it is also great for fishing. I really enjoyed using them, it opened a uh, different view for me. I'm sure a lot of you already know how thermals work, but uh, these just uh, free you from the uh, back and forth between the monocular and the real world view. You can just get it from the AR glasses in front of your eyes all the time. Now, if you're interested in these, you can head to the link below for more info. This is Will from China. See you next time.